Hello everybody, I'm the Whiskey Enthusiast and welcome to my review of Johnny Walker Black Label Isla Origin. Now this is my first review on this channel so bear with and go easy on me. We have this uh, blended malt that uh, has been creating a lot of buzz in these past two weeks in Turkey because this Black Label Origin series, which they have Isla, Lowland, uh, Speyside and Highlands, uh, have only been uh, duty-free uh, versions, the global uh, travel retail versions, and you couldn't find it in the local markets. And with duty-free being duty-free, you might just want to go for something more exciting rather than uh, you would think a simple Johnny Walker. But its uh, appearances could be deceitful, as we know. This is a blended malt from the Johnny Walker Black Label series, which uh, I love. I love Black Label. Uh, I think it's a fantastic entry-level whiskey, a good bang for your buck. It's an all, you know, um, it's a it's a everyday sipper, uh, really nice, easy flowing whiskey. Now they did these uh, in different regions. Uh, so this one is the Isla one. Have a look. Boom. For you to see the thing, uh, bottle, there we go. It is aged at least 12 years. Now it's a blended malt, uh, so there's no grain whiskey in it. And uh, we know, well, actually not from the bottle, but uh, from the box, or at least online, we know it has uh, Lagavulin and Kulila in it. Uh, and what do they say? Prominent notes of sweet peat and bonfire ambers with a slight spice and a lingering smoky finish. 42% uh, ABV. And the great thing is, because it used to be a duty-free, it's one liter. So uh, it's fantastic in that sense. Uh, you don't get that uh, small bottle with these ones. Now, uh, we don't get much information on this, uh, not even on the box. I think the box just, uh, it was so damaged I had to throw it out, but I think the box just explains uh, the four different regions they have, and it just says it has uh, Lagavulin and Kolila in it, and they aged at least uh, 12 years. Now, I know from the back of it, it does have uh, E150A caramel uh, coloring. We can assume it's chill filtered and uh, it's 42% ABV. So not amazing specs, but it is a classic Johnny Walker. You know, it's a, it's a cap, doesn't have a cork, but uh, again, bang for buck, it should be really good. So um, let's try, let's try the tasting. Again, we don't know which casks they've been using, uh, whether, you know, um, <clears throat> What's the PPM? We have no idea. But uh, you rarely get anything that descriptive in uh, these sorts of uh, whiskies. With blended malts, I think Compass Box is the only one who really, really gives uh, unnecessary amounts of information, you might argue. But um, let's give it a shot. It is very, very smoky. If you're thinking, oh, it's going to be like Black Label, no, no. It is, it's proper, proper Isla on the nose. Yeah, definitely. Sweet peat, absolutely sweet peat. Some dark fruits. Mmm, yeah, very iodine. Uh, very maritime. Salty, salted smoked ham is... The first thing I think about it. A little bit ashy, I would say, like a little bit bonfire, but uh, mostly sweet peat, I think, really nails it on the head. It's not as medicinal as you would think on a uh, Lafourg. It's um, honestly, if you think of uh, Lagavulin and Kulila, but think of the distiller's edition of Lagavulin, where there's a little bit of sherry touch. Uh, if you think you would blend those two, this is the kind of nose you would get, and that's exactly that. Oh, it's fantastic. It's really nice. No alcohol burn whatsoever. It is 42%, but... Um, and there's a little bit of spiciness in there. I think that's the um, underlying tone. It's the oak spice. Caramelized sugar, I get. 
Ah, oh, it's brilliant, brilliant. <clears throat> so, um, let's go on the taste. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This is... Oh, this is good. This is an island whiskey. Uh, don't think this is another black label. I know I said it again, but you might... That's why I skipped this all these years in the duty free. I didn't touch these. I didn't even look at the bottles. I'm thinking there are many more exciting things I could go for. But... Oh, it is beautiful. It is... It is very, very maritime. Very maritime. Definitely peak there. Um, peach week. Yeah. Um, a little bit bonfire. Dark fruits are there. So I am, I am inclined to think maybe there is a little bit of sherry cask involved in there. Like I said, we have no idea what it has. We just don't know. Mmm. Mm. I get cloves, oak spice is there, iodine, sea spray, umami, very meaty, very um, very savory as well. It's um, I don't know why it comes to me, but honey glazed ham because ham so that salted boiled ham you honey glaze it and then put it on the grill. And the outside layer just chars a bit. That that's both on the nose, but more prominent on the uh, on the palate. It is it is beautiful. It's not a long finish, but it's not short either. Um, quite fresh, actually. You get a little bit of minty freshness, which I don't know if if it's power of suggestion, but you know, uh, with Lagavulin, you get peat, 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 smoke, a little bit sweetness, and then at the end, there's a little bit like a mint-like freshness. I get that here. So uh, again, it might be power of suggestion, but if you're suggesting Lagavulin, I'll take any day. Ah, it's beautiful. Mm. So if you like Isla whiskies, this is fantastic Isla representation at a good budget as well. I mean, what's not to like? You got Lagavulin in there and Kulila. Maybe the heart is still uh, Cardu as with Johnny Walker's, but I don't know, because it says Isla, uh, I don't know uh, what else they might have used. I know there's no grain whiskey in there. So you get the robustness of the malts. If you like Isla profiles, if you like peat, if you like that sweet, savory, umami note, that uh, smoke and charred note, get this. Because, like I said, it's one liter, it's 42% ABV, uh, blended malt. And uh, I think it should be selling around 30 euros, uh, so convert it to whatever pounds, dollars, whatever you get, but around that. So it's not crazy expensive. I actually got two of these because I loved it so much. And um, and go ahead, if you like Speyside whiskies, if you like Lowlands or Highlands, go try those uh, versions of it as well. I did give them a shot, but I am a peat head. I love my Isla whiskies, smokier the better. And this really, really hits the spot. So um, that's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review. And uh, tell me in the comments if you like this one. Uh, would you have preferred it to be a higher ABV? Would you have changed anything? Uh, for me, I really enjoyed this. I think they did a fantastic job representing an Isla whiskey. So um, cheers. And uh, let's. Uh, I'll see you in the next review. Cheers.